Um, what I want to do next is I want to split it in three uh, polygroups for now. Uh, let's go Ctrl Shift Lasso. Uh, first group that I want to create is the tail. So let's hide it. And we can press Ctrl W. And the next one I want to separate the head. So let's see. Let's hide. Basically with these three uh, polygroups, I'm going to set my ornatrix hair. So I did split it in uh, three parts to be much easier to create the hair. Okay, I think it's fine. Let's go Ctrl W. Okay, great. So this will be actually hair. So let's go and export. Press it to desktop and call it body hair. And now let's press Ctrl W because I want a full mesh. And let's export it to two divides and call it body let's open up this max uh, let's make sure that we are in centimeter unit setup centimeter centimeter um, import and let's bring body skip <laughs> it's flipped doesn't matter Let's go bring body hair. Uh, Ctrl A. Let's group all together and let's mirror. Bring it up. Actually. What I want to do before that, let's go back to the brush. Uh, I want to bring up this object. So let's call it um, and then let's bring them into this max. Ctrl A group mirror F bring it up so this is front view I'm going to percent snap and rotate it mm, angle snap sorry Bring in 90 degree. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see what size is this guy. So, around one meter. Hmm, this is a big fella. So, let's see if we bring it to 30 centimeters. So, let's scale it. Let's move it to the bottom. Press ungroup. Reset X form, reset selected, right click, convert to Edible Poly. And let's assign a blank material. So I'm going to choose my video material and just apply. 
Okay, cool. So now I want to set my camera. So let's go to tip camera. Let's go for physical one. F3 and now we can rotate the camera. Until we find the position that suits us. So I just press Shift F. I think it's too wide, so let's go. Let's see, so I'm going to set it to 35. Focal length at the Okay, I think I saw something. So let's group this one. Let's go for one more mirror. Ah, okay, now makes sense. <laughs> let's keep it like this for now. Uh, I'm going to press uh, F10 or When the set, uh, if I'm pressing F10, I'm going to close my recording, so I need to go manually. And let's see what we have. Uh, I think we can keep this image aspect. Uh, obviously, we're going to increase it. V-Ray, let's go for bucket. Let's decrease for more fast rendering. Uh, settings, right click to zero. Purfos like cache. Um, let's go for export. Let's see. Very color mapping. Let's go for exponential. Uh, so we still mapping. Clamp out one. Uh, well, that's it for now. Uh, let's go on top and create one V-Ray light. And shift Q. I think it's too dark, so actually let's go for L. Uh, left view, let's go for uh, line uh, let's make a limbo vertex select this one and make a fillet extrude the other way around let's see oh, we can bring everything a bit down M Let's make it more white, maybe more reflexive, and apply. Yep. Uh -huh, it's way too white. But actually, uh, Ornatrix will uh, swallow a lot of the light, so. 
This is not set yet, but yep. Let's see, let's go for seventeen. Still too strong. Let's make this material more reflexive for more interesting effect. But I think it's still too strong this light, so let's decrease it for now. But as I said, I'm going to change the layer uh, depending on the hair. Go to front view. Uh, let's create actually back view. Let's create another light. Press invisible. I do not want to see it. Uh, this is too strong, so let's go for five. exclude line so this will be my background let's go for three and the top one let's go with 1.5 Oh yeah, I think the contour is interesting. I have some shadow over here. Um, some top lighting. I think we are good for now. Uh, I will see later when I'm going to add uh, some hair. So for now, I think uh, this will be all. Um, Eyes, eyes. I'm going to use it from my previous model, so I'm going to keep them like that. Maybe I'm going to change the color of the iris. So yeah, see you next time. Take care.